Hello, and welcome to Pokemon Ultra Moon Post Game Guide. Today I would like to talk about all the Pokemon you can find in the Blue wor Ultra Wormholes in the Ultra Warp Ride, primarily the legendary Pokemon. Now before you start, there are some things you should know. I went over these points in more detail in the video where we searched for legendary Pokemon in green wormholes. Yeah, I guess I can link to that right here, bam. Uh, but now the condensed version, you should have Ultra Balls, which are in any Poke Center. Quick Balls, Dusk Balls, which are found on Route 8's Pokemon Center on Akala Island. And Tire Balls, which are found in the Pinolia Town's Pokemon Center. On your team, you would want a Pokemon with False Swipe and a move that gives Sleeper Paralysis and moves that affect Ghost-type Pokemon won't be needed because there are no Ghost-types in the Blue Wormholes. Now when navigating the Warp Ride, you need to firstly collect Speed Up Orbs and avoid the Electrical Orbs. And secondly, you can avoid Wormholes when you return to the center of the Warp Ride where no Wormholes spawn by letting go on the circle pad or pressing the A button if you're still using gyro controls instead of the circle pad. And yeah, no no uh, wormholes spawn in the center. So that's good. Now to switch between gyro and circle pad controls, you need to talk to the Aether Paradise scientist in the Grain Freak building in Hey Hey Silly City on Akilla Island. Okay, now I will quickly go over the standard Pokemon that you'll find in blue wormholes and the method for hunting down a shiny variant. The standard Pokemon, the game determines if the encounter is shiny when you enter the wormhole. So for standard Pokemon, you can't soft reset the game for a shiny standard variant Pokemon. You will just have to go as far as you can into the warp ride and hope you get a shiny. Legendary Pokemon are totally different. You could soft reset as much as you need because you only get the encounter once. Now, the standard Pokemon that you can find in the blue wormholes are Quagsire, Lombre, Floatzel, Stungfisk, and Barbarical. Okay, now for the legendary Pokemon. There is one legendary Pokemon that is version exclusive to Ultra Sun, and I have him in my PC because of an event that happened in 2018. That Pokemon is Latios. And he is only available in Ultra Sun, like I mentioned before. Now in Ultra Moon, the version exclusives are Lugia, Latias, and Kyogre. Now the legendaries which are in both versions are Yuxi, Mespirit, and Azelf. And there are two legendary Pokemon that you need to have in your party in order to get the encounter. They are, for Suicune, it requires Entei and Raikou. And Kyurem will require Reshiram and Zekrom. Now Entei is found in green wormholes and is exclusive to Ultra Moon. And Raikou, which is also in green wormholes, but it's exclusive to Ultra Sun. Also Reshiram is exclusive to Ultra Sun and Zekrom is exclusive to Ultra Moon. But both are found in green wormholes. Now, I hope that wasn't too confusing, but now let's see which legendary Pokemon we find first. The one blue one. Uh oh. It's sucking us in, it's sucking us in. No! Puppy there was a white one behind it! No! But it only had one ring. <gasps> uh oh, we found a mysterious Pokemon. We found a legendary Valerie. Well, we've got to save our game, that's for sure. Okay. Well, let's go see what it is. It's a Kyogre. No, that doesn't look like a Kyogre. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, it's a... Oh, oh, it's a Latios or Latias. It's Latias! Do you want to nickname him? Well, let's first catch it. First, a quick ball that probably doesn't is it gonna work, but we'll try it anyway. Oh. Yes. No. Oh. He wants to break free. Missed ball. Heh, <laughs> your ball missed. Okay, no. Uh, okay, let's. We will, but first we have to bring down its health. 
And I want to give it a status. Hit. Uh oh, it used Wish. It means it can regain health. That's not good. Not very effective. Use Thunder Wave. There we go, Latias has been paralyzed. Now we can bring Garchomp back in. No, this is a dragon type we're fighting. I really wouldn't have thought Latias would have been in the water area. But okay! Okay, let's bring down its HP with a false swipe. Uh-oh, a dragon pulse, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Oh, okay. No gets to the It didn't hurt that much actually. Do you have one false swipe? Yeah. We're gonna need another we're gonna heal him. Yes to me. Looks like I need to buy more max potions. No, me, me, me. See look, I only have six left. I only have six max potions left. Oh. Oh wow, he found my weakness. Right, let's go throw an ultra ball out. Hopefully, it goes in right away. I even bought more ball pokeballs, but I didn't bother buying new healing items. Whoops. That was not bad. Oh, he was close. That was really close. Alright. I'm going to wonder would a net ball work? Probably not. He is in the water area. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny if he got in that ball. Nope. Just broke right out of that. That was a waste of a turn. Oh well. Yes. Oh yeah, I guess I should have bought more timer balls. Yeah, that was a dusk ball. I'll show you what a timer ball looks like. A timer ball. It it catches Pokemon the longer the battle goes. Its its, it's capability of catching increases uh, the longer the battle goes. So they're always handy to have. Let's do another one, Ultra Ball. Will he catch? Oh man, that's close. <gasps> oh, come on. <laughs> that was... Whoa, Psycho Chip. What does that do? Oh, he gave me his paralysis. <laughs> no. Dang no. it. No. Dang it. No. Well, no. that means I can use a full restore on him. Oh, 40 of those? Well, okay. There's no point in putting paralysis back on him. No, no, no. Oh, that's no. There we go, we caught it! Yeah! Okay, that was Latias, and Valerie named it Mitt, and that was kind of fun. Alright, let's head back to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and go back in again and see what we can find in the next wormhole. Hoo-hoo, there we are. Two rings, and it looks like we went as far as we can go, because <laughs> we were just being dragged in. 
That's fine. Let's see what we got. Nice. A new mysterious presence. Of course, save the game up because... Then you can soft reset for a shiny if you need to. And then, let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, that looks like Kyogre, if I had to guess. Oh yeah, that is definitely Kyogre. Ah, more Gen 3 music coming our way. Alright, Garchomp, come on out. So I think this is specifically Kyogre's theme from Gen 3. But, but, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Alright, let's start off with a good old fashioned quick ball throw. And see if it goes in. Go, quick ball! Not even one shake. Wow. Okay then. <laughs> oh, and there's its signature move. I missed reading what that was. Dang it. Origin something. Water origin? Something like that? Okay, well, we're just gonna have to do it the, old, the long way. Bring in Magnazone for that uh, sweet, sweet paralysis. Oh, Ice Beam. Ah. Okay. Yeah, okay. That didn't do much damage. Phew. Uh, I kind of forgot Steel is kind of immune to most things. But Ice Beam's gonna hurt our dragon. <laughs> That's for sure. Alright, Thunder Wave has hit. Good. He's paralyzed and cannot move. I don't think he has anything that can remove it like Latias did. But I guess we'll soon find out. Switching back to Garchomp. Bop! Calm mind. Huh. Does that heal him from... Oh, it's just special attack and defense rows. Okay, okay. I was worried it would take off paralysis. I was like, but I just did that thing! Alright, ball swiping until he's down to low HP. Muddy water? He's got two? What? Okay. That's gonna hurt my ground typing. This, this is not the best Pokemon to have against this guy. But we're just gonna have to heal. Good thing we're almost level 100 with Garchomp. Otherwise, this would be a... He'd be out, down, out for the count really quickly. Alright, a max potion, and yeah, I'll meet you back when we have him down to low HP and we throw our first Pokeballs to it. Alright, looks like we're ready to throw Pokeballs at it. I just finally got to see what that mo signature move is called. It's, it's Origin Pulse, which is an interesting name. Okay, but anyway, Ultra Ball time. Let's see if it sticks in the first one. Probably not. One. Yeah, one shake. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Oh, uh, whew. Oh, we avoid nice pink. Good. <laughs> okay, let's just start throwing other balls at it. We'll, of course, cycle through. Oh, yeah, net balls. It is water type. I wonder if that would work. It might not because it's a legendary, but let's try it anyway. And nope. Didn't even shake once. Okay. Alright. We won't try that again. I mean, if it shook, like, at least two or three times, we might do it again, but... Nope. Okay. Uh, next Pokeball. Be our Dusk Ball. One. Two. Three. Oh, it caught already! Well, awesome! <laughs> okay, that didn't take long at all. Uh, well, compared to Latias, that took, she took a long while to do. Oh my goodness. Alright, Garchomp, leveled up. Nice. And no name for Kyogre, he's okay. He could just be sent to a box, that's fine. Okay, well guys, that was Kyogre. Um, let's head on back. Back through the wormhole, back to heal up and purchase some more items and all that fun stuff. And yeah, we'll see you when we find the next legendary Pokemon. Okay, there we are, another wormhole, one ringed. And yeah, let's see what we find in this one. 
Okay. A mysterious presence has been found about 2,000 kilometers, roughly. Oh. Well, look at that. Could that be the gear? Yeah, that looks like Legia's silhouette. Let's see. Totally Legia! That's its cry and everything. Go, Garchomp! Maybe I should start leading off with, um... Magnezone, so I have to switch it the first turn. But, uh... Let's just throw a quick ball at it. See if it goes in the first try. One. Oh, okay. That was a... That was a delayed response on my part, but it used ancient power on us, so yeah. Not very effective! This music is very interesting, actually. I... You know, I've played Generation 2 as my first game, and I don't recall this music. But I, it must be it. It's been a long time, so... Clearly, it has been doing re, re, um, you know, for the most part, remixes, but not, eh. not too sure on the music, honestly. I, I think it is a, either a remix or just playing with it, or, or, or just using the original songs, which is great. It's great for the nostalgia. Thunder Wave has happened. Skill Swap. Skill Swap. What are you trying to do? He's got my spread. <laughs> he's, he, oh, he's giving it back. Oh, he must have done it before my ramblings. <laughs> Whoops, I didn't even notice. <laughs> okay, well, Lugia's paralyzed. So we switch back to Garchomp and bring its HP down. And with that being said... Ooh, Aeroblast. Yes, it's signature move. Doesn't do much for my ground typing and dragon typing, but nonetheless. Okay, first fall swipe. Let's see how much damage that does. A good chunk. A good quarter. All right, we'll be doing this for at least four more turns unless he has a move like recover or something like that. All right, well, I guess I'll just meet you guys back when we're ready to throw some Pokeballs at it. Okay, it looks like we're ready to throw Pokeballs at it. You know, maybe I should have just... I think I'll get... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ultra Ball. Ah, man. I was thinking to myself... I, I was mid-sentence trying to say... I should let you guys listen to the music a little bit. So maybe I should just shut up... <laughs> for a little bit and ch catch the music here. Man, that's such a nice music, though. I should try to do this for every encounter. I, I'm, I'm so silly for thinking about it now. We're gonna try Netball. I'm not sure why. <laughs> I guess it is a water... It's water flying, right? I, I can't remember. <laughs> but clearly it did not stick in that one. Hey, I guess we gotta give some heals to Garchomp. A timer ball, here we go. Nope, not even one shake. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure why I'm trying a dive ball. I'm not sure what I'm thinking in this part, but I guess... It, it does live underwater. No, it doesn't even. Doesn't even. Okay. <laughs> does it even want? All right. One. Just one. Th shake okay well I guess this is gonna take quite some time to catch this one 
this Lugia here, so I will just meet you back when we actually catch it in a Pokeball. Again, I'm not sure why I keep persisting with the netballs. It's water type, but it, it's a legendary, so it probably won't stay in there very well. Anyway, again, I'll meet you guys back when, um, when we are ready to catch this thing. Oh, well, there we go. We caught it. Okay, then. <laughs> there we are. Legia has been caught in a dusk ball at... Really, it was only two po more Pokeballs away. That was kind of funny. Okay, since I said I'm going to stop talking. All right, well, we'll put it in a box. No nickname for Lugia. All right, well, that is Lugia, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you find it. Um, <laughs> I guess he's really random. We'll just go and search for the next Pokemon that we find. I really hope it's some something else. I guess... I was going to say something else cooler, but really, Lucia's pretty dang cool. So I, I take that one back. All right. Well, I'll just go back to the Pokemon Center, heal up and all that stuff, and we'll catch you when we see the next Pokemon. Well, it appears we have found something. A mysterious presence has been shown here in the blue wormhole. I guess. Let's go see what it is. Oh, it's Ezulf. I think that's how you pronounce its name. All right, well, uh, this is going to be a thing. Well, look at that. Go Megazone! Here we go! Let's start things off with a quick ball. Go for a quick ball! Hey, as I suspected, quick balls really don't amount to much of anything. But we should still try them regardless. Alright, um, yeah. Well, considering that this Pokemon is psychic type, if I remember right. Point being, it can be paralyzed by Thunder Wave. So Garchomp, you go. Get in there. It's your turn to do the thing, which is false sweat. This music is quite interesting. Oh, cool. Uproar? What What legendary Pokemon has Uproar? Are you kidding me? Really? Okay, well anyway. Time to start throwing some Pokeballs at it. Ultra Ball to start. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was a really close. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. We caught ourselves as elf. Man, I had to use like six potions on <laughs> max potions on Grand Jump because Uproar was doing so much damage after it did so many nasty plots. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, we got Azelf though, and yeah, he's found in blue wormholes. And no, we're not giving it a nickname. No, 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 no. He has been sent to a box, and now, I guess, we can continue our search for the next Pokemon in a blue wormhole. Oh, we have found it. Okay, wow. I'm, I wonder what we're going to find. I didn't expect to find anything this so... Um... <laughs> close in the warp ride. But okay, we only had, went 1,800 kilometers. Or miles or whatever they're called. Right, well, yeah, actually, I saving game. Got to do that. Let's see which one we got here. I think as of this point, it's only either Uxie or Mespirit, so let's have a look. That looks like a Uxie. If I had to guess. Let's go see. Oh, yep. That is Uxie. Hi, Uxie. Alright, well, let's see if it'll catch in a quick ball. Because quick balls are very good and important to keep. Uh, -up. What? Oh, not even a single shake. Okay, extra sensory. There it goes with that. Okay, well, since we don't have to switch in, let's start with Thunder Wave with Magnazone. Go for it! Okay, paralyzed. And now using Amnesia. I don't know why it needs to raise its special defense. But let's bring Garchomp in just to get those false swipes in. False swipe. Let's see how much damage it does. And pop. A good quarter. Oh, it's yawning. It's trying to put us to sleep. Oh, no. That's not good at all. Okay, well, we'll just get another false swipe in, and I guess we'll have just have to use a, an Awaken or something. If I have any of those. It's like I don't have any Awakens at all. Okay, well... Don't want to have to use a full restore for that little HP, a little of HP. Perhaps there's a berry. All right, well, let's give it a chesto berry. Okay. Back to false swiping. And we'll get back, I guess, I didn't expect it to have yawn. <laughs> My goodness. But I guess it's always good to bring along something that can awaken your Pokemon. Lucky for me, I had Chester Berries. There it goes with Yawn again. I don't think we need him to be awake in order to catch the Pokemon. But let's just go ahead and start throwing Pokeballs. Ooh. Ultra Ball, please. Oh, not even a single shake. Again. Okay. Hmm. Let's go ahead with a Dusk Ball. Dusk Ball. Go. One. Two. Three. Oh. Oh, yes! We, are ca we caught it that quickly? My goodness! Alright then. That's Uxie, everyone. 
I was very surprised to find it that quickly in the Ultra Warp Ride too. I didn't go very far, but the first single ring wormhole I went for. Well, I guess maybe the second one. All right, experience is happening. And yeah, that's Yuxi. Now we just have to find the last one of the lake spirits. I guess that's what these guys are qual qual classified as. Um, no name. And that's Mespirit. And then we'll start looking for the one, the two Pokemon that require other Pokemon in the party. Alright, let's head back to the Pokemon Center, heal up, restock on Pokeballs, and all that stuff. And we will catch you with when we hopefully find Me Mespirit. Okay, 3,000 light years away. Ah, here we go. A mysterious presence in the water. I was wondering. We've been recording for about 30 minutes going into the wormhole. I still have... I should, finally, we found Mesprit because it's the only one that we have left aside from the two that require Pokemon in the party. Okay, here we go. Let's go catch ourselves Mesprit it. I totally forgot to save my game. Well, that means we just can't knock it out. Which we know we won't anyway, because... Of the fact that we just have... We have... Oh, oh. Alright, quick ball, here we go. This I shouldn't ramble. Uh, like that. Um, but yeah, we, we got false swipes, so we can always bring it down to low health. I don't think... But it's still a great idea to save. And one time I don't take my adva own advice. <laughs> Alright. Thunderwave, go! Oh, I'm so nervous. I don't want to knock this thing out. Well, I won't knock it out because I definitely have... A Pokemon that will, that does rather, have false wipe. So I'm not that worried. All right, let's see how many attacks we need to do. False wipe with this one. I hope it doesn't have Yawn, because that would be extremely annoying to have to wake him up. But I'm not sure if they all have the same moveset. They probably have similar movesets, but they probably don't have the same moveset. Okay, Mespirit is now in the red. And I'm pretty sure that's it's la that's the last attack we can do on it. Let's go ahead and throw an Ultra Ball at it. Okay, that didn't work, but it's okay. We still have lots of Pokeballs we can throw at it. Or different types of Pokeballs. Go Dusk Ball! Not even one shake for that one either. Huh. It's still paralyzed. So, uh, that's not what's wrong. Don't think a tire ball will work at this point because there hasn't been 10 turns yet. Yep. Okay. <laughs> this is, uh, quite weird. Two shakes? Three? Oh, oh man, that was really close! That was really close, come on! Well, let's heal up Garchomp while we're at it. Hmm. All 
I'm still surprised that Mesprit has not gone to a ball. I'm just gonna do another false swipe on it. Just to confirm that it has... It's uh, its last one, yeah. It's, that's, that's it. It's uh, its very last HP. Okay, well... Let's, uh... Just keep trying to throw more Pokeballs. I guess we could just... We'll just... Yeah, cut to when... When we actually catch it, I suppose. Let's just see if this one does it. One... No, okay. All right, then. This might take a while. Two. Three. Oh, we got an Atira Ball. Oh my gosh. That was so nerve-wracking because I forgot to save. But we got it. Okay. Perfect. It only took about 10 minutes to do. Okay, all right then. Whew. We got ourselves a mess pit. That is mess pit for you guys. Um, We're gonna uh, not name it, send it to a box, call it done. Then we're gonna run back home, save our game, and pick up some Pokemon so that we can get Suicune and Kira. So I'll meet you at the Pokemon Center. Well, I grab the two Pokemon that are required to pick up Suicune. I'm gonna go for her for, for that Pokemon first. Okay, so in order to, for us to go for Suicune, we need to at first put two Pokemon in our party. Those being Raikou and Entei. Now, Raikou is exclusive to Pokemon Ultra Sun and can be found in green wormholes. Entei is exclusive to Pokemon Ultra Moon and is in green wormholes as well. So I guess we'll just put them in the party. Here we go. Okay, now that that is updated, let's go and try to find Suicune in the blue wormholes. Here we go. I'm not sure which uh, level wormhole we're gonna find in, but we're definitely not gonna find it in a single or a tier one wormhole. Maybe a tier two or tier three? Possibly tier four? I'm not, not too sure. Let's just, uh, let's try for a tier one though. Oops. Here's one. Okay, 1,700 light years away and we didn't find anything. Okay, let's try maybe a little bit further and maybe a different tiered wormhole. Okay, we got a bit further, I think. Whoa, 4,000 light years away. What? If that's a, really... No incredible presence. Well, let's just at least see if it's a shiny. Because I understand that perhaps the furthest you further you go, the higher chance of a shiny. I could be wrong. <gasps> Is that's a shiny lombre? We found a shiny something. Okay, okay. It's no Suicune, but um, I'll take it. Let's uh, first quick ball. Go for it. Two, three, come on, stay in. There we go. Well, we we got a shiny lombre. That's cool. I don't mind that at all. Uh, we won't give it a nickname, but uh, yeah, shiny lombre, guys. Okay, that was unexpected. Oh, and it dropped something. A chesto berry. Okay. I guess the further out you go, the higher chance of a shiny. I think. Not sure. I could be wrong on that. I could really be wrong on that. Let me know!
know if I'm right or not in the comments below. But from what I understand, shinies come from the furthest by the higher chance the further out you go in the warp ride. Alright. Anywho, back to looking for Suicune. And I'm missing all the things. Huh, again, no mysterious presence found. Well, um, shiny check, let's have a look. It's another shiny! A shiny float soul! Well, I'll be darned. I and I noticed that there was a, a the ripple sort of looked like it was shiny too. Well, let's go ahead, try to find a Try a quick ball, hopefully it goes in. No, well, didn't want to stay in there. Okay, well two shinies in a row, that's quite interesting. Okay, well, let's just let Thunder Wave be a thing. And I think because this is water type, I'm going to go for a net ball. Let's see if I can find one of those. There it is. Should catch easily in this one. Well, there we go. We cut ourselves a shiny floatzel. That's that's amazing. Here I am trying to go as far as I can, just to try to find Suicune. And I'm getting all these shiny Pokemon. This is quite ridiculous, but okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, this one didn't leave anything behind. Well, okay, let's go f again and try to find Suicune. You know, that'd be funny if I needed to have Raikou, Entei before Raikou. Does the placement matter? Probably doesn't. There's a two-ringed one. Let's see. There was two in a row. Uh, could have been the one behind it, for all we know. Like, oh, well. That's a decent ways out. 3,000 light years away. But no. No. Okay. Well, let's just shiny check. Another shiny floatzel. <laughs> oh. Righty then. Well, I, I don't know if... Uh, uh, sure, I guess I'll catch it. Will it go in a quick ball? Firstly... Okay! Now we have two shiny floatzels and one shiny lombre. I have, am not shiny hunting, I swear. I'm looking for a sweet oon. <laughs> Why? Why do I have such worst luck? Oh well. Um, I mean, no, I do have pretty good luck. This is pretty awesome. I don't mind finding all these shinies, but I still want to still find Suicune. I think what I'm going to try is switching... I'm going to switch Entei and Raikou around. I don't think that's going to do really mean much of anything. It might not, but let's try it. Okay, now that's fixed. <laughs> well, we'll, maybe that will change my luck, um, but um, probably not. Okay, well, let's keep looking for three and four tier wormholes. There was two in a row in that last one. That was crazy. Oh, here's another three tier wormhole. Let's see if it's in here. I sure ran into a lot of things. Oh, this one isn't too far out, though. Only... Ah! We got our mysterious presence. There she is. There's Suicune. All I did was swap Entei and Raikou around in the party. I don't think that much has much of anything to do with it. But the website does list them off as Entei and Raikou. So maybe their placement in the party means something? Maybe not. I could have just bad luck. Well, 
I guess finding three shinies is can't be considered bad luck. But any, any, I digress. Let's go and get to Suicune. Yep, that's totally a Suicune. Awesome. You know what'd be even awesomer? Or even more awesome, I guess. That's because awesomer is not a word. If it would go in a quick ball for me. Catching it. Anyway, would be fine. I just realized I forgot to save again. I've been doing that a lot lately. But I'm pretty sure I'm not going to make it faint. Because I have false sweat. So, uh... That's where I'm confident, but, you know, just in case. You really need to save before starting these encounters, Matt. Dennis. <laughs> okay, it broke free. As I suspected, it would. Alright, well, it went and did rain dance. Okay, so Thunder Wave is going to be a thing. Let's do it. Okay. Now it's paralyzed. We can throw in Garchomp. Fall swipe it to death. I mean, to almost death. <laughs> Alright, fall swipe. Here we go. How much damage is that going to do? About quarter. Par for the course. I mean, if I wanted to make this a shiny Pokemon, I would save right as soon as getting the encounter. And soft reset every time I went in. But we're not shining hunting. That takes way too long. The only cool thing about... The best... Uh, not only cool thing. Well, kind of. It's cool that the further out you go, the higher chances you get for a shiny Pokemon for the regular ones. That's neat. That's pretty cool. I mean, I never expected to get another fl two Floatzels in one Lombre. But anyway, I should just stop talking about it, because I'm, I'm guess sure people are going to get jealous of it. Alright, anyway, we are focusing on Suicune here. Because, yeah, we'd have to be, be soft resetting for Suicune for a long time. I ain't nobody got time for that. So I'll just catch a regular Suicune, it's fine by me. Right, we got the crit in. Now we just have to keep throwing Pokeballs at it. First Pokeball, of course, we're going to start with... Ultra Ball. Alright, one shake, two shake, three... No, okay. <laughs> I didn't hear the second one make a sound. That second shake make the sound effect. That's interesting. Alright. Back to this. You know, this is a pure water type. Would it go with a netball? Unlike Lugia, where I thought was a water type, but nope, it's not. Well, that's fine. Wait, wait, Suicune is pure water, though. That's... That's for sure. I know that for certain. <laughs> ah, sometimes Pokemon typings are so off of what you re you would think they are. Not even a single shake for that one. Okay, well, this is probably going to take a while. And that's our, his very first attack on us. Oh my goodness. Did hardly anything because of our dragon typing. Thank goodness for that dragon typing. Like I said, it's probably going to take a while, so I'll meet you guys when we're close to catching it. Where, or when we actually do catch it. One. Two. Three. Are you kidding me? I just barely said we were going to catch you. Get back. <laughs> I just barely said we were going to cut, cut back to when we caught it in the second ball. The ball right after I said that, it goes in. We didn't even have that many turns. I wasn't expecting the timer ball to work at all. Well, okay. 
That's me, good everybody. <laughs> I'll beat. So we're going to go back to the Pokemon Center. And we're going to find the Pokemon that we need to look for Kiram in the in the ultra in the ultra warp ride and the blue wormholes. So we'll see you then. Okay, we are going after Kiram now. So what we need to have in our party is both Reshiram and Zekrom. Now Reshiram can be found in Pokemon Ultra M Sun. Whew, I almost said Moon. Pokemon Ultra Sun, he's exclusive to there, in Green Worm Holes. Zekrom is also in Green Worm Holes, but he's exclusive to Pokemon Ultra Moon. Okay, and now we just gotta find Kiram, who resides in Blue Worm Holes, most likely in a level 3 or 4 tiered wormhole. So we... it depends on how far out you go. So here we go. Let's try to find him. There we are. There's a 3 4 tier wormhole. Alright, let's see. Hopefully that's Kiram. Oh, we went pretty far. 3,000 light years. And there we have it. We have... Kiram, I'm pretty sure. Let's save because I forgot to do last time. Save before I the encounter, as always. Especially if you want to soft reset. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, that's totally Kiram. Here we go. Finally, get to get this guy. Oh man, this music. Awesome. Takes you back for when we played, when I played black and white with my wife. Back when we were either engaged or dating. That was, that's awesome. All right, anyway. Let's throw a quick ball at it and hope that it goes in. One. Nope, not even one shake. Okay. <laughs> oh. Ow. Okay, not very effective, whatever it was. Then, we'll go back to our regular catching mode. Thunder Wave via Magnazone. To give that sweet paralysis. Slash, huh? Okay. And then we'll switch in. Oh, wrong button. We'll switch in to a Garchomp. Make him do his false and gets false swipe going on here. Oh man. That's right. I am dra Dragon type. That's not going to work very well for me. We are going to have to use a lot, and I mean a lot, of healing items on Garchomp. Okay. Okay. That's fair. A critical hit does did that much. Well, we should still go ahead and use a max potion on our good old Garchomp. Because that signature move of Kiram's pretty, pretty <laughs> good. Good for him. Bad for us. I don't know if ground type is also hurt by ice. But our dragon type is hurt by ice. And he's also dragon, so any dragon type moves he has. Ooh, there it goes again. Ooh, yeah. One last false swipe. Okay. Now he's down to 1 HP. Before we throw any Pokeballs at it, we're gonna max restore. 
Max Sword Gar Garchomp. Okay, now with that being said, let's go ahead and throw an Ultra Ball at it and see if it sticks. Possibly won't. One. Yep, just one shake! Okay, well, that's fine. Time for a Dusk Ball. <laughs> okay, not even one. This, this is going to be a difficult capture, I can tell. I can tell already. You know, maybe if I didn't have anyone super that he's super effective against, perhaps I should switch somebody else in. Who do I have that would not be hurt by his ice type move? Probably Reshiram. Let's go ahead. Let's throw him out there. We do not need to do any more attacks to it, so. Paralyzed by fear, I see. Just kidding. Um, okay. Let's... Just so we could show some lovely... Eh. Just so that Kiram knows we'll take good care of it when we catch it. We'll give Garchomp some healers. Okay. That move doesn't hurt that much. <laughs> okay, good. Alright, let's go ahead and find ourselves that Ultra Ball again. And let's see now if it'll stay in this Pokeball. One, two, okay, two. Let's try a Dusk Ball. Okay, I didn't want in there at all. All right then. Well, I guess we'll just um, cut to when we actually catch the thing. We'll see you then. One, two, three. There we go. Looks like I clipped there. Sorry. There we go. We caught ourselves. <laughs> we caught ourselves that. <sighs> oh, beautiful Kiram. Finally, we don't need to give it a name. Set it to a box. Awesome. The person that exuded to rubbing power has, seems to have disappeared. I think that means we've captured every, every legendary Pokemon we can find here in these type of in these blue wormholes we'd still f catch regular standard pokemon here of course but yeah that is it that's the end there's no more pokemon your legendary pokemon in blue wormholes so thank you so much for watching and tuning in and yeah i know you guys could be watching so many other better much more better people <laughs> than i so i i thank you for tuning in just for that alone. And yeah, we'll catch you in the next video when we will go after y Pokemon in the yellow wormholes. And I think that will be the last thing we do in Pokemon Ultra Moon post game. All right. Thanks so much for watching again. And we'll see you then. Bye bye.